Number 74. Atoms of which group in the periodic table have a valence shell electron configuration of ns2. All right, so now we're talking about what group. So remember, groups go up and down, right, across um, on a periodic table. So whether that would be group 1 or group 2 or, you know, group 9 or 9b, that's what we're talking about here. We just want to figure out which one has the valence shell electron configuration of ns2. Now remember what valence shell means. Those are your outermost electrons, right? So it's the electrons that are the farthest away, the last shell from your nucleus. And they're telling you specifically that they want you to end at an ns2. Now, it doesn't matter whether it's a 1s2 doesn't matter if it's a 2s2 or a 3s2. That's why they put just an n here. What do they all have in common? They are all ending in an s2. So that means that these atoms have to end at their last electron in an s2. Where are the s's on the periodic table? You guys should know, right? We're on number 74 of electron configuration. We know that the s's are in these two groups right here, right? So if you knew that, you basically narrowed your choices down to basically 14 out of 118 elements. So we did pretty well by just knowing where the S's are. And just remember that helium is here, right? Helium does not belong in the P's. But now we just got to figure out where the S2 is. Well, if it's uh, we'll say if this is, we'll start here. If this is 2s, because this is 1s, right? This is 3s, 4s, et cetera, et cetera. We need to get to the second electron. So the first box in each s orbital or subshell would be the first group, right? So if I went like this, I would say this is s1, s2. 3s1, 3s2. 4s1, 4s2. So do you see that which group has the valence shell of ns2? It's this one. So it's all of this group down here. And now we just got to say what group it is. Well, I kind of wrote over this, but this is the second group. It's group number two. So what would be the answer? You would either just say group two or... Um, sometimes they usually disguise them by saying 2a. Just know that your main groups have a values. So this would be 1a, this would be 2a, 3a, 4a, 5a, etc., etc. But 2 is a 2, right? So it could be either be group 2 or you could see it as group 2a. Both answers are 100% correct. Box that answer off. Those are the groups that have the valence shell of just an NS2. Two electrons in the valence shell, and it's as simple as that. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hopefully this helped. Let me know what you think. If you wouldn't mind, click the subscribe button. It helps the channel out a lot just to see that we're doing our job right and that you guys are liking the content that we're putting out. Thank you so much. See you guys in number 75. Have a great day.